Oh, hello. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I, I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, that's that's about pride. Uh, now we we the big we have kind of taken pride and stretched its meaning quite a bit. This probably comes from some friends of mine. Um, the starting in the 70s and into the 80s, there was a movement to say, you know, for LGBT to be proud of who you are. I think it was probably an effective pol politics wise effective thing to do. But today, it's led to some outcomes that I'm uncomfortable with. And it's led to a case where pride means too many different things. Roberta Actenberg, you should have been mayor. I am glad to have marched in pride for you. But the word is getting stretched. Uh, classically, and at least to my mind, what it should mean is, or what it should refer to is things that you have done accomplishments, uh, things that you have actually done, you know. Um, some people are proud to be Marines. I would say, well, you know, be proud that you got through basic training and became a Marine, or, you know, be proud to be a Marine, but remember that's about getting through basic that got you to be a Marine. A lot of other people are making it about things that they are born with. Um, you know, I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be a Ravens fan. I'm proud to what have you. This, it seems like we need a different word for. Um, or we can just forget about having, taking any sort of pride or any sort of inner self-esteem based on things that we didn't do. I mean, that seems to me like what would be good for us. But <sighs> not a lot of people listen to me for reasons like that. So let me just lay this out a little bit better for you. Um... <sighs> I am <laughs> I would say I'm glad you're proud to be an American. You came over from another land even if your parents brought you. You still came here. You built a life. You built a world for yourself. You took the classes. You took the tests. And then you stood up and raised your hand and swore allegiance to our country, and became my brother and sister and family. If you were born here, and you're proud to be an American, it's kind of like saying, I'm proud I was born at map coordinates, da, 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 da. It's really stupid. You can be proud to be an American if you worked at it. If you didn't, if you were just, you know, fell out of someone who happened to be here at the time, you didn't do anything. If you're proud to be a Ravens fan, then you have altogether too much energy and time and bandwidth invested in a sort of a business game that is designed to drain resources from your city to other parts of the country. To hurt your city. You're proud of an organization that's hurting your city. So, that's not real 
uh, I'm being judgy here. And it's my first day, so maybe this isn't the best thing. But what are you going to do? Okay. If you're that bored that you got to get behind a football team, I got plenty of work for you to do. Uh, just, just write in, and I'll I'll find some stuff for you to do. And if you are proud to be an Italian, if you're proud of your bloodline, and maybe it's Italian, there's just too many jokes about Italians for me to tell right now. But if you have to go to your forebears to find something to be proud of, you got to get out and do something. You got to get out and challenge yourself and push yourself. Make something of yourself, for God's sake. For me, I'm glad I, I'm proud that I finished high school. I'm not proud of where I finished high school or, you know, the people, the kind of people I had to interact with, any of that kind of stuff. Just given the circumstances of my childhood, the extreme depression I've had since birth, and the fact that I wasn't going to college. I, I had other plans. I am very proud that I stuck it out and got through high school. A lot of people might be surprised by that. If you know me and you're like, huh? Shoot me an email. I'll give you some background. Um, I feel shame. Sort of the opposite of pride in that I flunked out of Marine Corps basic training. I joined the Marines while in high school. I started basic training about six weeks after graduation and was back at my mom's house five weeks later. All kinds of reasons for it happening, but it is the most shameful thing that I think I've ever done in my life is that failure. The circumstances that exemplify that that are apparent by looking at me are things that I was born with. And I, you know, I'm not proud of anything that I was born with. Um, a lot of people are proud of their race. I gotta say, I'm lucky that I'm white, looking at this country, and I'm in Maryland now. I mean, come on, it's the most fucked up state. It's the messiest state ever created. Uh, but I'm not proud I'm white. I'm try not to be shamed, but um, I'm not proud. I am lucky because I with uh, the bipolar and everything. If I weren't white, cops would have definitely gotten me on something by now. And on the family background, I am not ashamed uh, that a chunk of my family was heavy in the clan. I was for a long time, and it was an intentional decision on my part to not be ashamed of that anymore came out of my realization that so many people felt that they were bad and sinful because a great great grandmother ancestor had eaten a fig that she was told not to and when I was throwing out original sin in my worldview I had to throw out you know my shame about my forebears because consistency um, if I'm not going to latch on to one form of shame I'm not going to latch on to the other which is based on the same thing does any of this shit mean anything? I don't know for me it means we either need to replace one part of this uh, word pride with another word or maybe we should take 
good feelings in ourselves for things that we actually do, for accomplishments, for our own setting goals and, and meeting them. Uh, I'm in the middle of one right now, and I don't know if I'm going to make it or not, for instance. I have a goal of doing 15 miles uh, in five hours carrying 60 pounds uh, before the heat of the summer, so early to mid-June this year. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm 49. Uh, most of the people who do that kind of thing are getting ready to go to ranger school and are in their 20s and are in a lot better shape, although I'm getting there. It is what gets me out and moving many days, but that's sort of a side effect. The main thing, I don't know, main thing. I want to be able to look at someone and say, hey, uh, yes, you're a ranger and that's great, but I'm 49 and I could have gotten into that school too. So set challenges. If you want to feel pride in something, look out at the world and see something that you can do that'll make the world better or make you better, stronger, whatever. But actually make it about something that you have done. Hell, even if you've done it with a bunch of other people together as a team, that's, that's something you can take pride in. It's the... I was born at these map coordinates, therefore I'm proud of my map coordinates. Or, I was born left-handed and I'm proud of it. Uh, I, I have patchy baldness and I'm proud. Get over it. We need to get back to we the big we need to get to a point where we're trying to do things again. And when we spend too much time obsessing over the ravens or the color of our hair or our handedness or the map coordinates we were born on, we're not doing anything. And maybe if you made a lot of money in your life and you love your kids, Maybe you should think about leaving the money to a charity so your kids have to actually do something in their lives. It's not a loving act to cripple a child with the inability to accomplish anything because everything is handed to them. That's not a loving act. I... If you are rich, and it's because your parents were rich, and you haven't done anything with your life, do something. Join the Marines. Join the Marines. As always, or I should say, as of now and moving forward, I invite your ire and spleen and anger and rage on the comments page. Uh, if you want to say I'm doing a good job, please, for every good thing you say, give me three bad things, because I want to get better at this. And if you want to just kiss my ass, do it on social media, because maybe we'll get some more audience then. This is... Uh, this is the 3rd of February. I was supposed to do this every day, excuse me, 3rd of March. And I was supposed to do this every day in March. I did the intro to the blog on Sunday the 1st. And yesterday I did an entry on the other sort of thing I'm going to be doing. 
So today's the first one on here, and it's gone long. We're at 15 minutes. So I'm going to get out of your hair. Bye.